YouTube, it's Mitchell Z. I'm back with another video. This one is just a real quick one just to um, show you how I've been wearing my hair this week. I guess this week I've been doing some protective styling. It wasn't really planned that way, but um, I did a roller set on my wash day over the weekend. And my hair was nice and stretched out, but the roots were still really full and wavy. So what I decided to do is just kind of like braid it up. This is how I've been wearing my hair this week. I did a side part and I just kind of braided it all the way around to the back on both sides. The style now is starting to get a little bit fuzzy. There's little pieces here and there that are just starting to come out of the braids. But toward the back, I kept the, the end pieces pinned in with bobby pins. And I just put on like a satin scarf each night. There's been a couple nights, I think, that I didn't though, and that's probably why it ended up getting kind of fuzzy. But the reason why I bring this style up is because... I think this has made it a lot easier for me. I just remember like when I first went natural, I was really very glad that I knew how to French braid my hair and corn cornrow my hair. I think it's something that's important to learn because it's a way to set your hair or stretch your hair or you can, you know, use it as a styling tool. Um, so I know if I didn't know how to braid at all, I probably would have felt like I was limited and what I could do with my natural hair. So I've always been thankful for that. So that's just a suggestion if you're transitioning or if you're newly natural, um, learning how to do things like flat twists and French braids. You can make a lot of different styles just knowing how to do those two things. I've never put up a braiding video myself. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. I think it's something that you can watch someone do. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but there are a lot of videos online um, to help show you how. And I think it's a really good way to style your hair on some of those times when maybe you want to wear a hat outside or maybe you want to just stretch your hair. Um, sometimes just on a wash day, I do a lot of deep conditioning, washing, detangling. So by the end of all that... Putting it up in French braids is just an easy way to put it away, keep it moisturized and stretched overnight so I can just do something with it the following day because all of that other stuff just takes a long time. So I thought I would just get on here with that tip. I've always enjoyed, you know, the fact that I can do my own hair in this way um, and I might experiment in the future with it a little bit more. But for right now, I just really like the big braids. You know, so I usually do like one or I'll do two because um, I think they look really pretty. And I know that most of you don't know this already. I haven't really said it on the blog or here on the channel. But I just wanted to let all of you know that I finally got on the Instagram. I've been wanting to get on there for some time now, but I just never really... I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it really is <laughs> as far as taking the pictures and then adding cute little filters and things like that. I was like, man, I don't have time for all that. But actually, it's kind of fun. Um, I've already got some pictures up. And my my name on there is just the same as the channel, Mitchell Z. And then, too, I also started a Facebook page for um, my channel and my blog. And it's Curly in Colorado on Facebook. And if you look into that... I'll be posting sometimes some quick pictures. Um, I'm probably going to do some throwback type um, references back to the blog because there's some posts that I did earlier on that you know how on a blog after it's been up for a while there are some articles and posts that just get buried underneath um, all of the newer stuff so I might be doing some of that and anytime I find some links and things like that I think I'm going to post things on there. Um, things that I just found that are helpful that I might want to let you guys know about. So check those two things out. I'd love for you guys to follow me on the page and on Instagram. Instagram is actually pretty fun. So I'm looking forward to posting pictures about 
my hair journey, things that I'm doing right now with styling and products and you know makeup, nails and stuff like that, but also I just really like photography in general. So but right now the challenge is to just use my phone for the pictures on Instagram. So I'm really curious. Um, I want to kind of test the limits of my phone and see what kind of images I can come up with. So check it out. And I will see you in the next video. Hope everything is going well for all of you as it is for me. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.